Hi, I'm here at uh, Refuge. We're in the prayer room. It's a room where uh, young people can come down and pray. It's a quiet room where we can just talk one-on-one. -on -one. And Today I'm here uh, with uh, Jerry. Uh, um, Jerry, what's your full name? Uh, my name is Jeremiah Xavier Rygard. And how old are you, Jerry? I'm 19. 19. And uh, Jerry's uh, an incredible man. Uh, uh, as, we, as we talk about his story, uh, I think some, some neat things and some very tragic things will uh, be revealed. Like uh, a lot of the kids in, uh, in this, this shelter, this community center, that they come, when they come here are homeless, uh, Denver is the eighth highest city as far as homeless percentage of youth. Uh, beside that, 75% of the youth that are on the streets are on the streets because they were kicked out of their homes by their families or had to run away for abuse. So it's a, it's a situation not necessarily where they wanted to go, but they had no choice but to go. And Jerry's situation, Jerry, you were uh, married? Yes, I was. Um, I was married to a girl. Um, her name was Angela. Um, what happened was uh, I got her pregnant. And you guys were how old then? We're about like, you know, 17. Were you living together? Um, we weren't. We were living with our parents. All right. I was living with my dad and she was living with her mom and her okay. father. Um, what happened was that uh, I didn't wear a condom and I got pregnant. Well, we figured that. And, <laughs> <laughs> and um, so pretty much eight months later, in that eight months, I mean, you said you two stayed together. Yeah, we, we stayed together. You were standing we were really by her, happy. going was, through everything yeah. she had to do in the I pregnancy. I was going through school. I was right. there for her pregnancy right. classes. You yeah, know. so you, you planned to be a couple together. Yes, I right. planned to be a couple. And you loved each other. Yeah, we loved each other. And so what happened? Um, pretty much so what happened was she was driving with her friends, and one of her, her friends was driving, and she's right here. In the and, passenger seat? Yeah, in the passenger seat. And pretty much a drunk driver hit him sideways on her side, uh, killed both of them in the impact. And the child died too. Yes, she, the child She was died eight too. months pregnant at that yes. time, right? And your whole life went upside down. Oh, yeah. Um, it went, it turned for the worst. Uh, and before that, you had been in and out of foster, foster situations. Yeah. Your parents... Uh, they weren't the ideal parents, shall we say? Not and, really. My, and uh, go ahead. My mom was a drug dealer. Uh, she used her own stuff that she sold. Um, you can name it. She sold it. And your dad? Uh, my dad. Um, my dad stopped doing drugs, but he was drinking. He was an alcoholic. He didn't abuse me, but he didn't really work so often, so it wasn't. Right. And you moved us. a lot. so Yeah, I moved a lot because my mom was getting chased by the cops a lot. So basically, you didn't have a chance at school because you could change schools every, every time. Months. They had a hard time transferring me to right. every school. Right. So that's a, that's a, makes it almost impossible to get an education. Yes. So at, at this point, uh, you're, you're working on your GED, is yes, that right? Yes, I am working on my GED. Now, how low did you actually go after you... Uh, lost your child and your fiance? I went pretty low. Um, I was have, I had suicidal thoughts. Uh, I tried to hang myself. I tried to cut myself. I tried to overdose. Um, pretty much I went to a really dark place. I didn't like anyone. I didn't talk to anyone. I didn't talk to my parents. I was really rebellious. Um, until then, like, you know, Tell my friends, you know, snap me out of place, you know, and talk to me and say, you know, you're going down the wrong path, you know, you're a really good guy and you shouldn't be doing this, you know. So that she you have some friends that helped this. you. So pretty much my friends helped me. And then uh, when you turned uh, 18 or 19, 19 you uh, left home? Yes, I left home because my dad uh, pretty much... I didn't want to stay with my dad in California anymore. Right. So your dad had moved to California. You went. You followed him for a while, but that didn't work out. No. So you came back to Denver, tried with your mom, and that didn't work out. No. So you were homeless. Yeah, I was pretty much homeless. Um, I I heard about the peak 
from so you, a friend. So you went to Urban P. So I went to Urban. And you've been there since March. Yep, been there about eight or nine months. And uh, I know when we first opened, you were one of the first to uh, come to Refuge. Yep. And tell us what you think about Refuge. Um, Refuge is a very good place. It's you know, it's like a sanctuary for teenagers, adults, any person that age. You know, everybody get along. There's not no no bad equals or you know anyone in bad terms. Um, pretty much, it's really good here. Like they helped me got my job and everything, and you know they're helping you know youth to get their driver's license. You know they're very helpful people. And uh, uh, one one of your favorite parts of Refuge is. Um, I get to play video games, you know, chill with my friends. And the trips? Um, and the trips, oh my god, the trips. I remember my first time, I almost <laughs> slid down the you, hill. You almost killed me! <laughs> 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 the trips are, we, we go up in the mountains. Yeah, we, and, we And when we go up in the mountains, we don't just hike. We, we, they're high, high risk trips. The one uh, Jerry's talking about, uh, I remember well. We went to Green Mountain Falls, and we were climbing up Green Mountain Falls. You actually climb up the waterfall, and we got on the wrong side of the waterfall and couldn't get back over. And it was a steep, steep barrier down or uh -huh. slope down. I that. And I, I'll tell you, for such a big guy, Gary, Jerry is fearless. Man, he does anything. And uh, so we made it down, but not before I was scarred for life uh, when I tried to keep you from falling and uh, hit, a, hit a tree limb and just scraped the crap out of my leg. But uh, uh, you had a lot of cuts on yeah, your leg, oh yeah. I will yeah. say that. You hit a lot of branches. <laughs> and trying to keep him. And I knew we were in trouble if, if we left because I could not hold him. <laughs> no, no. But, but we made it down safely and... Uh, and uh, Done a lot of mountain trips with Jerry and some uh, one uh, the uh, was the Con Continental Falls. Oh, where, yeah. yeah, where we had to hike so far. Oh yeah. And you you made it all that way up and all the way back. That was awesome. That was that was very exhausting. Though, yes, but uh, but we have a lot of fun together with the, with the youth and uh, I, I I love Jerry. I think he's got a great heart uh, and he uh, he never gives up and uh, we're we're pleased that. Uh, at, at refuge that we can stand alongside of them and help them. Jerry, thank you and God thank bless you, man. man. Thank you. I appreciate it.